And as for rules, we didn't carry military manuals around with us. We were out on the veldt fighting the boar the way he fought us. I'll tell you what rule we applied, sir. We applied rule 303. We caught them and we shot them under rule 303. <laughs> Good morning uh, to the Boar War, War Boar community out there. Today uh, is exciting because we've got the Osmo action going. So we're going to uh, travel to a Boar War monument today. I hope you're all excited. I am. We're off to the monument for Private Willie Aitken over at Heathcote, which is the town about 25 kilometers away from me so let's give this Osmo a workout first we're going to leave our house and not get killed and then we'll talk a bit about where Willie lost his life which was at the Battle of Colenso which occurred in December the 15th, 1899, in the Natal province. So it happened in the first weeks of the Boer War. Uh, once war was declared, you've got to remember that President Kruger had sent all the Boers down to the Republic uh, boundaries with Natal and the Cape province, and they'd sent uh, England an ultimatum which was basically to take their troops out of South Africa and of course the British didn't abide by the ultimatum so war was declared and the Boers streamed over the border uh, and some of those went into the uh, province of Natal and they firstly laid siege to the town of Ladysmith which was quite a large garrison of British troops and uh, had a significance for its railway uh, system so the British tried to relieve Ladysmith and that's where General Sir Redbird Buller comes in. He was assigned to the task of relieving Ladysmith. Now, he didn't have much luck with that in the first uh, few attempts. One of those attempts was at Colenso, which is on the uh, Tugela River. Colenso is a little town in Natal. Boers were on the north side of the river and the British trundled along uh, with all their you know, wagons and supplies and troops trudging along. The, the Boers knew that uh, they would be most vulnerable when they were crossing the Tugela River so their orders were for the Boers to hold fire until they saw the British crossing the river. Now there was a couple of places they could cross the river didn't have, uh, the British didn't have very good guides. The guide they had barely spoke English and things got confused and muddled up and while they were looking for the place to cross the Tugela, they entered uh, something like a horseshoe bend in the river. And the Boers who were being commanded by uh, Louis Buita, who I think went on to be a South African Prime Minister, uh, saw that their opportunity was too good to resist so uh, they didn't hold fire waiting for them to cross they saw that they had them uh, trapped in a horseshoe or bend of the river so they opened fire with about 500 casualties on the British <coughs> taken in a few moments now one of the, uh, the British had brought up their guns they'd started uh, uh, a barricade on the Boer defensive trenches such was the, uh, the urgency of the retreat after they were given withering fire that uh, they pulled back quickly and the guns were exposed. So the Boers opened fire on the gunners and uh, 
British unit to lose their guns was a big deal. So there was a lot of gallantry. One of those that died trying to defend the guns was a young, uh, I think his name was Tom Roberts. He was the only son of Bob Roberts, the commander in chief of the Boer War, who uh, Kitchener took over from. Uh, and he was award awarded the, the Victoria Cross. But yeah, I think they, they rescued a couple of the guns, but they lost uh, some guns to the Boers. Now on the right front of the advance was uh, a fella called Hildyard, who uh, had a few divisions. One of those divisions was Thorny Cross Division. They were mounted infantry. And that's going to be significant when we get to the uh, monument today, uh, because our Willie Aitken was assigned to Thorny Croft's mounted infantry. Uh, so that gives you a taste of the Battle of Colenso. Uh, a Boer victory. They lost about uh, 30 men while the English lost 140 dead. Approaching the monument to Private Willie Aitken of the Thornycroft Mountain Infantry. Probably never knew what hit him. They were trapped trying to find their way across the Tugela River. The Boers were also on a hill called Shawangla, uh, something like that. So they had uh, the height and they were shooting down onto the Brits. Enough, they murmur. Oh my tomb, he like a soldier fell. Battle of Colenso, South Africa, on the 15th of December, 1899. That's not all. We also have another fella here. Creelman from Costafield. And Costafield's just up the road from here, so it's, it's a gold mine, small little place. And he died of uh, enteric fever, which I think is like dysentery at Enkelduin. Now Enkelduin is actually, I think, in modern day Zimbabwe. The Australians also sent uh, some troops up to Baira in Mozambique and they went inland. They were uh, inten intending to invade the Transvaal from the north and uh, it was very bad for their cattle and for their horses in uh, that part of Africa with the uh, malaria and the fever. So that's what uh, took out poor old Creelman. So there you go. Pretty good, eh? Cool. First war, first Boer War monument off our list. I've actually uh, downloaded a list of all the monuments in Victoria going from, you know, the far end of the state to the other, from Warrnambool up to um, Lakes Entrance, you know. I don't think I'll get to all of them, but uh, th this is a good one lest we forget. <laughs> 